Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Boomer Busted Draft Show. Uh, so no cold open today because our own PJ Clark has an announcement to make. Yeah, so uh, this is this is weird. First and foremost, I'm just gonna look directly into the camera here and not try to look at the screen and anybody else. Uh, I'm leaving. Sorry. Uh, he I hates you, us. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot less yelling for those who who are gonna miss that. You can you can listen to this podcast at a normal <laughs> volume now because I won't be here to yell. Uh, I got a job with a National Football League team, meaning that I cannot talk about. Uh, draft prospects for the duration of, of this NFL season, at least. So I am I'm hopeful to be back on here in January, right at the kickstart of, of things for draft season. But uh, me getting this would not be possible without the other three people here would not be possible without everybody watching, um, following along on Twitter, Instagram, whatnot. So thank you from the bottom of my heart uh for everything thank you to these three for putting up with me for the last year <laughs> thank you to everybody who has commented clicked on a video everything uh i know these three will will carry the mantle for the next six or seven months or so and and take us through this this college football season and hold everybody's hand on the way through and uh there will still be arguments there will still be takes i will still be alive and kicking on twitter um so more to come from from me soon but for now thank you for everything, and uh, I hopefully will we'll see you in six or seven months. You want to tell people what you're doing for the NFL team, or? Uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm doing social and, and digital media for a, a, at this point an unnamed NFL team, but that will be out soon. Uh, this video will be out soon, so if you want to figure out what team I'm working for, I don't know, hit me on the bird. You know where to find me. So, uh, I'll see you when I see I'll you. See you. A team that could be really important for the 2022 draft. Let's put it that way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll I'll be <laughs> uh, I'll be around. So uh, also, that's that's yeah. For anyone who's like, oh, there's like PJ's gone. Like he's not. He probably is not gone for good. Like the the season's probably gonna probably. end in January or or February. Um, so we'll see. And then, and look, draft season starts. If this that. if this if this team season wanted to end in February, I'm not against it. <laughs> I will be pro that. I would be very pro the season ending in February. That would be wild. I feel like that would be really fun. But uh, it might. Hopefully, it, hopefully gonna... he'll be back for uh, for when draft season really gets gets going. But during the season, it'll be us three, me, PJ, me, Tate, excuse me, and Nick. Uh, we're bust. So without further ado, let's get into the Spencer Rattler video. Bye, PJ. Bye. <laughs> Thank God he's gone. Uh, welcome to another episode. Yeah, who needs that guy? You do think. Oh, man, it's been a long year with him. Um, but now we get to what this draft show should have been in the first place. Me, Tate, and Nick breaking <laughs> down uh, what I would say almost everyone's QB1 is for a future video. You keep in mind, because uh, Tate has a different take, but Oklahoma quarterback Spencer Rattler. Breaking him down, strengths, weaknesses, where he ranks for us right now, player comps, what NFL teams he might fit. Before we start the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Of course, be sure to follow our Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Boom or Bus Draft. We're on YouTube. Also, everywhere you get your podcasts, check out the merch store below. And please keep supporting us because support for us is brought to you by that right there, Manscaped. Today's episode brought to you by Manscaped, our go-to for men's below-the-waist grooming products. Manscaped new product alert. It's time to stop drop and order this brand new shaving kit that they just launched introducing the ultra smooth package you see nick and tate both holding it up there a specialized groin shaving kit to help you buff protect and smooth your most sensitive areas i'm talking about their new crop shaver crop exfoliator and crop gel it's time to crop that bush of yours and get right to the roots with a discount just for you get 20 percent off and free shipping at manscaped.com with the promo code BOOMERBUST, that is BOOMERBUST, all caps, no spaces, to get 20% off and free shipping. Smooth it out, fellas, with Manscaped. Your balls will thank you. So let's go over Spencer Rattler, the Oklahoma quarterback. He's a redshirt sophomore. He's six foot one, 205 pounds. Former five-star recruit, number 11 overall, number one quarterback in 2019 coming out of Arizona. He's a one-year starter, first-team All-Big 12, Davey O'Brien Award semifinalist, and he completed 68% of his passes for 3,031 yards, 
28 touchdowns and seven interceptions in 2020. Also ran for 160 yards and six touchdowns. So, Nick, let's start with you. When you watch Spencer Rattler, what do you like the most? It's the off script. Uh, excellent off script QB. Uh, he's got a pretty strong arm. It's not, you know, we, we talked before this episode that like he has that Mahomes like mentality. And then when he's outside the pocket, he'll change up the arm angles, he'll make crazy throws. And he's accurate enough that he can make crazy throws. But he just, he, uh, he doesn't necessarily have that arm strength that Mahomes has, but he makes it work kind of from that 10 to 25 yard range of throwing the ball that he was very efficient at doing that. Um, he's got above average rushing ability. I, I wouldn't call him like, you know, Lamar Jackson rushing ability, but he's a guy who will run for you, get you yardage, get you touchdowns in the red zone. Um, and he can spin it. I mean, the guy has this ability to kind of fit in balls that just it doesn't look like there's anything there. And he just finds a way to weave it between defenders and, and hit guys in stride for first downs. Uh, did a lot last year. I don't really know, you know, where he fits into a progression-based offense in the NFL yet. There's a lot of RPOs and a lot of just kind of escaping the pocket and just doing this kind of, off, again, off-script style of football. But he's very good at it. He might need to get reeled in a little bit. But, again, he's only 20 years old, young guy. Got another year of development here, two years in that Oklahoma offense. Uh, he plays a style of football that is very valuable to today's NFL. And with his ability to deliver downfield passes, uh, if he continues the upward trajectory that we saw last year, because remember, he struggled a little bit last year at the beginning of the year, threw some interceptions, really cost Stratt as the year went on, put him a 55 burger um, in the Cotton Bowl, routed Florida. Um, you know, he continues to do that upward trend, and I think this is a guy that you're looking at number one pick next year's draft. Yeah, I, I don't have Sam Howell as a lock for over Spencer Rattler, like Max is suggesting, I, I think I said, you know, a gun to my head, I maybe would probably take Howell, which is a very ambiguous, not a firm answer at all. So thanks, Max, for throwing me under the bus. Um, <clears throat> Spencer Rattler is an excellent quarterback uh, by every stretch of the imagination. Easy arm talent. This effortly, effortlessly throws the ball like 50 yards downfield, just can chuck it. He doesn't have, you know... The, the how it's our canon that some other quarterbacks have had previously, but it just comes really easy for him. Um, and that that's marked by his 67% completion percentage in his career. Uh, throwing on the move, like Nick talked about, working out a structure. Um, you know, he's a plus athlete, so that definitely helps getting outside the pocket and making these kind of weird, uh, you know, unique throws that become more and more common in the NFL. And, and that's something that Sam Howell doesn't have is the the plus athlete, the level of mobility that Spencer Rattler will give you. Um, and then I guess my last thing here, this is going to hurt without PJ, but pedigree, five-star <laughs> recruit. I don't know if PJ to back me up on this, but um, yeah, that, that also matters. Yeah, number one quarterback in the country coming out of high school. Um, like I said, number 11 overall recruit in 2019. Like you guys mentioned, there might not be a better quarterback in the country outside of structure. Like He improvises, makes plays better than anyone, able to make off-platform throws like easy, the arm talent, all there, man. His deep ball is one of the best in the country. Accurate, though, to all levels of the field, short, intermediate, and deep. This guy is not like he's just a good deep ball thrower. Like He can be a really good quarterback to all levels, which – Frankly, we haven't really seen much Sam Howell. Sam Howell's a really good deep ball, but that UNC offense is a lot of vertical throws, and you only see a lot of short and intermediate passes for him. Uh, but rather, not much of a dual threat, but he's not a statue in the pocket either. He can take off and run when he needs to. A lot kind of like the Mahomes. I'm not comparing him to him, obviously. Um, but when you run around in the pocket, not crossing the line of scrimmage, but you know, still extending plays. Not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing the Mahomes comparison. Not yet, Max. Well, not that's yet. later in the video. That's, that's later, later in the video. video. <laughs> Tay, what do you think uh, Rattler's weaknesses are, though? Um, I think the biggest thing that you're going to hear from us and just from a lot of people over the next year is his size. He's only 6'1", 205, which, you know, is that a true 6'1"? A lot of people, their numbers on their roster are, you know, maybe he's six foot, um, which, you know, is, I guess, undersized for a quarterback. And also, he's only 200 pounds, so something to pay attention to he plays like Mahomes like Max says but he just doesn't have the same size as Mahomes Mahomes is like 6'3 225 ish 230 or so um Spencer Rattler's only 6'1 205 so that's something to pay attention to uh he also breaks the pocket maybe more than he needs to I think Max is going to touch on this um he, he plays well out of structure but maybe he gets too reliant on that and breaks the pocket and leads to sacks and other issues and also I just I want to see him over the next year kind of level the narrative you know, no Kansas State games, no weird benchings, no uh, late game interceptions that cost your team the win. I think he just needs to clean it up, level the narrative. I think a lot of people think, hear Spencer Rattler and they think, oh, like 
he was kind of bad. And he really wasn't. It was just these couple little incidents, I guess you could say, that mm-hmm. that I think are affecting his stock and his uh, image. Yeah, this is this is no Bo Nix. Uh, he just had a couple of games at the beginning of the year. This isn't a whole sample size of bad play. And I remember this guy's only played one year of college football, so he's he's allowed to have a, at least a game or two where he's had some issues, some growing pains, and he's he's improved it because of it, I think. Um, but you talked about his his playing outside of structure and maybe getting out of things too early. I think he doesn't really play in structure much at all. Uh, he's very much you know sits well into RPOs and really simple concepts. But once those, you know, first two reads are gone, he's kind of doing his own thing and improvising. Uh, so, like I said, you got to reel him in. Uh, you really got to get him kind of in the mindset of staying in the pocket a little longer and going through progressions. He just hasn't done, hasn't, ha- hadn't done a lot of that last year. Uh, a lot of times where he's just running straight backwards, which is just not a thing you want at all uh, in terms of pocket presence. And he, you know, finds ways to turn that into positive gains in college, but when you get to the NFL, you're probably not going to be able to pull that off. Um, but, you know, he we saw the improvement last year. I think it's something that he can continue to get better at. Yeah, you guys mentioned he also he holds on to the ball for an eternity. His average time to throw is one of the longest in the country. He invites pressure on him despite having that Oklahoma offensive line, kind of like the opposite of Sam Howell, where Sam Howell a lot of times is running for his life because the UNC line is not good. That Oklahoma O-line was one of the best in the country, and Rattler still was getting pressured a lot because Rattler was holding onto the ball, breaking clean pockets, and a lot of that, um, yeah, bails out of clean pockets, want to see him more play within the pocket more this year. Um, and also, you guys mentioned, he's prone to having like a really, really dumb throw, a really dumb play on his tape every once in a while. He even got benched for a bit against Texas uh, in that Red River rivalry game, which is a huge, huge game, and he got benched for a little bit. came back later on in the game, and uh, ended up, I think, winning that game. But still, um, getting benched against you know your biggest rival is not the best look. And Tate, you mentioned it too. He's not the biggest. Six foot one, two hundred five, same height as Sam Howell, who we'll get to later on. But Howell's twenty pounds heavier than Spencer Rattler. So this is a. I, I'm not really worried about the height thing. The, the size, the build, is what I'm kind of worried. The two hundred five with Spencer Rattler. So maybe get up to two ten, two fifteen. Then we're talking. Uh, but, Nick, give me the bottom line on Rattler right now, where he ranks for you, player, any player comp you might have, and uh, any team fits the next level. So he's my number one prospect, barring Howell uh, improving more this year or, you know, Rattler not improving. We'll see what happens. But he, them, they are one, two for me. And I think, you know, you're looking at him being probably in the reaches of teams like the Lions, Houston, Eagles, Panthers, who are going to be looking for quarterbacks next year, in my opinion. Those are four worst teams in the NFL, so those be the teams ticking highly. Um, comps, again, I, I struggled finding guys outside of kind of the basic, uh, you know, what people have been saying so far for Howell and Rattler. And for Rattler, I eventually, you know, I just I have Zach Wilson written down, which is like, uh, it's just so like, eh. But I'll give you another one that I just thought of, um, which is Ryan Fitzpatrick, because he plays with this kind of like, you guys talked about it last night. There's a little bit of cockiness to his game where he's just, he can do anything, right? And Ryan Fitzpatrick plays like that, and he makes it work. And Spencer Rattler plays like that, and he makes it work. They're not exactly the same. I think Rattler's more mobile. He's a little smaller. Um, he's probably a better passer, will protect the football better. But there are some of those, you know, questionable throws. He's going to throw touchdowns, but he's also going to throw interceptions. And there's a lot of those explosive plays on tape and just a lot of extra going on that you see with Ryan Fitzpatrick at the next level. I like the Zach Wilson comp. Uh, I think I'm going to go Russell Wilson, a bit lofty. Uh, I think both are undersized for like this kind of style they play, offer good mobility, good arm strength, uh, accurate quarterbacks. Um, Russell probably runs maybe a little bit more than Rattler does, but you know I, I, see, I see similarities between the two. Uh, team fits, I don't really have any at the – the precise moment, but you know, I think there might be a little growing pains because he does play out of structure a lot. But when you come from the Oklahoma offense, you know, Baker, Kyler, Jalen Hurts, are waiting to see if he's good, but we'll see. Um, you know, those are some good quarterbacks. Spencer Rattler's in a good place for it, uh, and it should translate well to the NFL. I think he's like Sam Howell and him are probably maybe one, two, maybe Kayvon Thibodeau, who we'll talk about in the future. If he just blows up and is a dominant edge, maybe he hops, you know, them uh, if they if Rattler and Howell have a down year. But yeah, Russell Wilson, I guess, is my cop. No team fit for the moment. 
Yeah, so he's right now the favorite to be the Heisman, favorite to be the number one pick. He would be the third quarterback from Oklahoma in the last five drafts to do that with Baker Mayfield and Kyler Murray. And Jalen Hurts was a runner-up uh, for the Heisman and was a second-round pick. So the last four Oklahoma quarterbacks have been first or second-round picks, uh, two of them won overall, and, and you know two of them won the Heisman, too. Currently, Rattler, number one overall on my board, QB1. Uh, a lot of head-scratching plays on tape, but what can't be denied that he has a lot, a lot of talent. And, Nick, you stole it, man. The Zach Wilson cop was mine. Uh, probably a little less arm talent, both undersized. Uh, do have big arms, though. Uh, can Mike wild throws off-platform and outside of structure. Uh, and also, both can run when they need to, but are definitely pass-first quarterbacks. Team fits. Nick hit on it, Texans, Lions, Eagles, all three looking like the worst, three worst teams right now. All three could use cornerbacks, in my opinion. Uh, so that's what we got on Spencer Rattler. So obviously um, it's going to be just me, Tate, and Nick from here on out with PJ working for a undisclosed team right now. Rip, um, Jay, rip PJ. S in the chat, please. Rip, rip PJ. Uh, but yeah, and hopefully PJ will be joining us uh, in a few months, but we'll see. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment what do you think about Spencer Rattler. Is he your number one player in 2022, any players you want to do next, follow our Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, at Boomer Bus Draft. Leave a review in our podcast. Check out the website below. Hit the merch store. And, of course, go to manscaped.com. Use the promo code BoomerBus for 20% off and free shipping. So for P- so for Tate Sigworth, I'm like, PJ, damn. Wow, jeez. Tate Sigworth, Nick Merriam, I'm Max Chadwick. Have, have a great night.